hello hello amazing viewers and welcome back to this very amazing channel as well as this amazing channel that uh, got you covered with amazing and amazing story and today we are in one of the very own places of the hearts of nairobi uh offload ngong road kama sijakosea tuko hapa kabaza tumeparana na chiyama tunataka tuchape na story to skia where it all began to making a kabaza like this one stand to where it is and in case you're watching a video for the first time please do consider subscribing as well as comment down below to share us your thoughts and let us know what you think about today's video and why not dive into the video and see what Kabaza Kenya has got for us in the table. Chairman. Yes, Habari? young man, how are you? You're good, man. <laughs> yes, young man, I'm good. Yes. Yes, tell me. Yeah, kindly you can introduce yourself, you can tell the viewers uh, who Chairman is, your name, and uh, basically then we talk about how Kabaza started to come into where it is today. Uh, thank you for visiting Kabaza. Yeah. My name is Major John Kipchumba. Mm -hmm. I'm the chairman uh, Kenya Auto Bazaar yeah. Association mm -hmm. which was formed way back around 1997. 97? Yes, but it started operation uh, way back 1989. 89? Yes. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. So can you take us uh, through this journey from 1980s to 20? 22. How did it start? How many cars did it start? Where did it even start? How did even the idea come to place? The idea came because of uh, several issues. I was in employment yeah. as an officer of the Kenya Air Force. Yeah. And uh, you know uh, the Air Force job or yeah. defense uh, jobs mm -hmm. are very critical mm -hmm. and time demanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just started uh, importing used cars, mm -hmm. actually reconditioned from Japan, mm -hmm. and uh, we had to sell. Mm -hmm. And time to sell it was not available. Yeah. So we had to go to to use the Daily Nation yeah. advert page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could get telephones. At that time, there were no mobile phones, mm -hmm. so we used to use the office line. Yeah. The landline. Yeah. So you must sit next to the telephone for yeah. you to receive calls. Yeah. So when you receive a call now, someone tells you, please, I'm in Westlands, come bring the car I see. Mm -hmm. So you go there, you mm -hmm. show the car, you say, ah, no, this one. <laughs> I wanted a white one, this is black. Y yes, yeah. or this one has a power steering, which yeah. I don't want. Mm -hmm. So you go back. Mm -hmm. By the time you reach the office, you are told, oh, somebody has called again from again, town. From somewhere else. Yes, mm -hmm. now you have to leave the job, you go for that uh, to go and yeah. showcase your car. Mm -hmm. So that issue now three of us sat down and said, mm -hmm. instead of us taking this car, mm -hmm. why don't we find a place, we sit, yeah. we advertise and say we will be here every, whichever day. Yeah. So we, we agreed on Sunday mm -hmm. between 11 mm -hmm. and 3. Yeah. And we scouted the place. At that time, the newest place was uh, Westlands. Westlands? No, it's Westlands uh, Sarit Center. Yeah. It was hot at that time. Yeah. The sun uh, it, itself. Yes, yeah. it was actually coming up into the market. Mm -hmm. So we went there mm -hmm. and we negotiated. They gave us a space mm -hmm. at a corner somewhere. Yeah. It could fit about 20 cars. Yeah. So, we, but we, had, we managed first hundred to have six cars mm -hmm. and we had a few clients. Yeah. So the idea started from there. Yeah. And then uh, we overgrew the place. Mm -hmm. Then we went to, we were kicked out of Sarit Center, yeah. we went to Wayakwe, mm -hmm. from Wayakwe we were kicked out of there, mm -hmm. we went to Langata Road, mm -hmm. the dual carriage we came, mm -hmm. we were kicked out of that place, mm -hmm. then we went to the Nya Stadium, yeah. we stayed there for some time and then yeah. we were kicked out of there, mm -hmm. uh, we came here, mm -hmm. that was around nine, about year 2000, yeah. no 2002. 2002. Yeah, we came here. That's when I was born. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's a quite earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So we have been here since 2002, mm -hmm. up to now. Yeah. And uh, we are more or less of a growing the place. Mm -hmm. So that is the history. Of it. But we registered officially mm -hmm. the bazaar July 1997. Mm -hmm. So as Kenya Auto Bazaar Association. Yeah. yeah. So currently we have about 400 members. Mm -hmm and growing yeah a uh, very strong membership yeah uh, now mm -hmm. uh, we are promoting safer cleaner motor vehicles yeah uh, uh, mobility mm -hmm. to our clients yeah so uh, safer in a way that it can participate in traffic mm -hmm. comfortably without injuring you mm -hmm. 
And then uh, cleaner, it is as per the environment. Yeah. It, it, uh, the vehicles that we are bringing in are of Euro 4 mm -hmm. and above. Yeah. Uh, currently we are importing Euro 5 mm -hmm. and Euro 6 vehicles yeah. into the country. Mm -hmm. So our vehicles are cleaner mm -hmm. for the environment. Mm -hmm. They are fitted with catalytic converters. Mm -hmm. And of course, saver in a way that it has all the safety assets yeah. uh, in the vehicle mm -hmm. fitted into it. So our vehicles generally, they are of good quality, high quality. Mm -hmm affordable yeah and uh, because if you buy a car now yeah comfortably we can uh, if you take care of it mm -hmm. it can take you 10 years or 20 years before even it breaks down yeah so that is the quality of the cars that we are selling here mm -hmm. of course there are vehicles which have been used what we call third and fourth hand yeah or even fifth hand yeah being sold here yeah so those are the ones which maybe it will need some uh, repairs and all that yeah but generally the vehicles which come here, mm -hmm. the people make sure that they are clean mm -hmm. and they are safe. Yeah. And also, they are competing with others. Yeah. So the competition here is very high. Yeah. So if you look around, mm -hmm. you can find any car, mm -hmm. but you feel also ashamed to bring a car which is uh, not clean yeah, yeah. or not safe. I mean, yeah, yeah. not in a good the condition. In the condition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you find the cars which are brought here are of high quality. Yeah. Yes. So definitely, uh, Chairman, I'd ask, uh, how was it uh, shif shifting from where you started uh, your car bazaar in the 19s, in the 1980s, uh, at a place called Westland, shifting from this place to this place to this place with your clients, or with your customers? Uh, it takes a lot, you know, to inform the customers. Mm -hmm. Our membership, there's no problem because we have a newsletter. We give them information that we want to move. Yeah. But the customers is where we're having problems sometimes. So we had to use uh, the media, mm -hmm. uh, radio and TV adverts to show that we have moved. Mm -hmm. Of course, which is very expensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, to shift, you know, like now, mm -hmm. we are uh, displaying about 2,000 vehicles every Sunday. Yeah. So moving <laughs> 2,000 members, no, I uh, mean vehicles, to this place, yeah. people are now, if you see car uh, uh, yards, mm -hmm. they are more or less along Gong Road yeah. because it's pro it, it is uh, close to the bazaar. Mm -hmm. So it is to us, yeah. if we are now to look for another place, mm -hmm. it will disrupt a lot of people yeah. in the vicinity because most of the uh, yards are around here, yeah. which are also belong to our members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, being that this is one of the biggest yards in Kenya, I've never seen a bigger, a bigger yard more than this one. It has hundreds of hundreds of vehicles. When you said that back then you were importing cars in the early 80s, how was it then? How many vehicles were you able to import? And how was the, uh, the, the, the process itself to import a car in the earlier uh, years? Because it is not like right now anyone can just import a vehicle. And it was very difficult because there were uh, government regulations. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you have to have for an exchange mm -hmm. your own mm -hmm. and uh, nobody was allowed to to hold any foreign exchange in your bank account or in your house it was like even a dollar even a dollar you, oh you could be God. jailed mm -hmm. but now the market was really ripple rise in 1992 yeah. and everybody now became free and now the advent of internet and also mobile phones yeah. changed the scenario yeah so uh, then we could in a year we could import if you try we would import about four units in a year yeah but uh, now you can import even 20 30 because yeah. of the uh, capacity also yeah and then vehicles were cheap mm -hmm. but depending on the economy of that day yeah. they were cheap but currently now they are very expensive a car which you then we could buy for one thousand mm dollar -hmm. we are now buying for ten thousand dollars wow so you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then, so, uh, of course, the competition. Then it could be two or three people importing mm -hmm. in the whole country. Yeah. Now, numerous, even uh, foreign companies have come in importing cars into the country. Yeah. So the competition is very, very high now, right. competitive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Being that you're speaking about competition, I cannot forget to ask you, because uh, a lot of businesses got different challenges. What is one of the major challenges that you face in this uh, automobile business? Uh, generally, is uh, cheating. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of cheating. Because mm -hmm. um, somebody will know this car is faulty. Yeah. 
so it will not disclose that information. Yeah. That is the biggest challenge. Mm. And also the regulations uh, in the industry, mm -hmm. there is no streamlined. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 we have a problem with uh, regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, I think those are the main challenges. Yeah. But it's like a free market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chairman Kipchumba to Kimalizia, uh, being that this is one of the biggest yards in Kenya, not even one of the, this is the biggest yard in Kenya that sells a uh, huge varieties of different vehicles in Kenya. What vision do you have for this car bazaar in Kenya for the next like five years to come? Where do you see car bazaar? I would like uh, car bazaar to grow mm -hmm. into an auction house. Mm -hmm where people will just uh, bring in their cars and we auction mm -hmm. and uh, and then also other services like uh, valuation mm -hmm. uh, reconditioning repairs yeah. and as you know now mm -hmm. the world is going to zero emission vehicles yeah. electric vehicles yeah, the electric. We, yes we would like to participate mm -hmm. maybe in, the, in that transition yeah. uh, as kenya auto bazaar to be mm -hmm. the leading uh, association mm -hmm in championing uh, the mobility uh, championing uh, moving to zero emission vehicles yeah. yes and uh, currently mm -hmm. as we speak mm -hmm. i'm the vice chairman of uh, informal working group yeah. which is housed in uh, united nations uh, wow. the transport division mm -hmm. uh, actually looking at regulation how Africa would bring in used vehicles mm -hmm. which are clean, mm -hmm. safer mm -hmm. for the environment yeah. because and actually affordable mm -hmm. for the consumer. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are, we are, we are coming up with the regulations mm -hmm. so that all African countries, mm -hmm. if if you are in West Africa or you are in East Africa or you are in South Africa or you are in North Africa, mm -hmm. we have same standards mm -hmm. that uh, when you are when you are importing a vehicle, mm -hmm. it should meet those standards, yeah. <clears throat> especially on environment mm -hmm. and road safety. Yes. Yeah. So definitely, let me bring you to the last question. Uh, why Sundays? Because car bazaar is all about Sunday. When you mention a Sunday in the middle of the week, everyone thinks about car bazaar. Why Sunday? Sunday mm -hmm. is a day which is uh, special because everybody is relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday to Friday, everybody is busy with work. Yeah. Saturday, you have uh, engagement here and there. Yeah. You have to do your own things. Yeah. Then uh, Sunday we found uh, is a free day. Mm -hmm. People go to church between uh, maybe eight mm -hmm. to eleven. Yeah. They go to church. Mm -hmm. After that one, they relax. Yeah. So this Sunday bazaar is not actually about selling. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like you come here, mm -hmm. you scout around, yeah. you catch two three guys mm -hmm. who are selling their vehicles. Mm -hmm. Then you you make a date mm -hmm. for Monday mm -hmm. to go and transact and do the other things. Yeah. And also becomes the outing for the families. Yeah. That uh, and also uh, training ground mm -hmm. for upcoming uh, salesmen mm -hmm. and uh, people want who are or car enthusiasts mm -hmm. to come around yeah. and shop and look around and see. You know, because it's a free time. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. At least let's put some. We said let's put Sunday. Mm -hmm. Have we have something something on Sunday yeah. that you can do. Yeah. yeah. Rather than sleeping or sitting at home. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, if I close up the channel without uh, asking this question, the audience themselves would swallow me alive. At how much that the person coming to sell a vehicle here has to pay, and does the person coming to buy has to uh, pay for any charges? Can you tell us how the, the services go by when you want to sell your vehicle? What are these processes that you must follow on car bazaar? The, of course, we have our membership, mm -hmm. so our members. We have a system mm -hmm. where our members load their vehicles on Saturday yeah. and then pay, make payment. Mm -hmm. Then uh, non-members, they can load also on Saturday yeah. and uh, pay. And then Sunday morning, mm -hmm. or when we come in on Sunday, mm -hmm. we just drive in. Mm -hmm. So the cars start coming in mm -hmm. as from 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock? Yeah. Very early We are very morning. busy. We yeah. are people driving in vehicles. Yeah. So by 9, 10, mm -hmm. our members, that is custom, no, members mm -hmm. and non-members, mm -hmm. they will finish, mm -hmm. they are bringing vehicles by 
10. Yeah. Now customers come in as from 11. Or some even come as early as 9. Yeah. And uh, now customers pay 100 for parking. That's yeah. for the security and upkeep of the area. Yeah. Of course, for rental of the place, the customers and no, the members. Yeah. Members pay 200 yeah. per car per yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Non members pay 500 yeah. per car mm -hmm. per Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then we have an application yeah. app which is called Basa app mm -hmm. where all the vehicles are loaded. Yeah. So anybody in the country yeah. can just access yeah. how many cars now are here. Yeah. And you can search, and all the cars will have basic details that yeah. is the price, mm -hmm. uh, the model. The model yeah, and the uh, uh, no no condition is age, yeah, uh, color, the CC, the, the no no CC yes, yeah. and the name of the car. Yeah. So if you want a Pro Box, all Pro Box will come. Yeah. If you want Pro Box KBX, mm -hmm. you can search KBX. Mm -hmm. so, or you want the KSC, mm -hmm. you search KSCs, all KSCs in Pro Box. Yeah. So you can narrow down the search. Yeah. And then in the field, mm -hmm. we have uh, marked yeah. like now there is A B C D A is G. Yeah all the way mm -hmm. and then the other side there's one two three four yeah so you can map the ground and yeah. say g mm -hmm. there's one here mm -hmm. two three up to nine yeah so someone can tell you i'm on row g yeah number five yeah then you can go there you'll find the fellow there with yeah. this car yeah and also the telephone is also in the app mm -hmm. so even during the course of the week mm -hmm. you can still search in the app mm -hmm. and you can get a vehicle which was in the bazaar yeah you get the address of the person, mm -hmm. the telephone number, you call him, mm -hmm. and then they can deliver the vehicle. Or if you want fo photographs, he will send you the photographs. Yeah. yeah. And uh, being that you've been in this business for the longest time, yeah. you know, uh, buying a car is like acquiring a property of which may maybe sometimes it might be so risky. Yeah. Have, you, have a anyone uh, bought a car here, then they had issues with maybe corn or su such kind of issues uh, brought to car bazaar? Yes, yes. Uh, we have had some clients coming mm -hmm. and saying, I. We bought a car in certain area, mm -hmm. and then when we trace, we'll usually find who sold the car. Mm -hmm. So we sometimes offer some services mm -hmm. uh, some, uh, so to sort that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, mm -hmm. the whole responsibility lies with the buyer. Mm -hmm. Yes, the buyer must be very diligent mm -hmm. when buying a car. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you are doing, mm -hmm. uh, whom you are buying from. You must check. Yes, mm -hmm. must check. Uh, mm -hmm the logbook, uh, due who, diligence yes, the all, you do all those due diligence yeah. and then when you come in, if you need assistance, you can come, we have uh, officers in the ground mm -hmm. to ask that, yes, mm -hmm. uh, I want to buy this car from this fellow, do you know? Mm -hmm. Then we can say, yes, this one is our member, yeah. we can give you that assurance. Yeah. So, we, there are some small services we offer, we also offer services like uh, search mm -hmm. while here. Mm -hmm. Some people also come here and buy cash and go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman, for sharing a very inspiring story about Kabaza with us. As well as I can see uh, the theme or the main motto of this place is championing your safer, cleaner and affordable mobility. So definitely, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this very amazing video with Chairman here, Chairman Kipchumba from Kabaza. Kabaza is located along... We are at... Uh, Chamuri Park, mm -hmm. ASK, along Ngong Road, off Ngong Road. Yeah. Chamuri, if you, if you know ASK showground, yeah. that is before you read the, uh, the main showground, we are just opposite uh, a PM security. That is yeah. where we are. It's a big yard. We have over 2,000 units yeah. every Sunday, mm -hmm. and we have about 900 of a thousand customers coming in yeah yes so definitely guys uh, if you want a safer cleaner and affordable car yeah look no further because car bazaar got you covered so definitely guys thank you so much for watching this video till to the very end thank you so much for supporting our contents leave a comment down below to let us know what you think did you like anything about car bazaar and so that's on sundays we meet you guys here at car bazaar to look for a safer clean and affordable car so thank you guys and subscribe leave a comment share us your thoughts and yeah boom